Capricorn and welcome to your reading. This is, I guess, for the month of October. If there's any further dates and time, I will give it to you. Um, so first of all, I want to say thank you for your, all your love and support, especially in the last video that I did, uh, the three months ahead. Uh, thank you so much for showing up and giving me your comments. I really appreciate that. So uh, yeah, uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm still open for personal readings, but I'm on my own. Uh, didn't work out with my soul sister. I still love her very much, but uh, we decided to go separate ways. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, so I will be answering emails and, um, um, of course, I will be doing the readings by myself. Uh, the thing is, is that, uh, so there is like, I'm doing it kind of a special from now till December for readings. And I will give you two options in the reading. And underneath the comments, or no, not the comments, sorry, the description box below, there's two emails. There's the cosmic moonchild tyro 1111 at gmail.com and patrizia underscore at yahoo.com. Those are both my emails. But if you're going to write to me, okay, if you're going to write to me uh, for a reading, make sure that you use one email and you don't use both. So there's no confusion because I could get confused very easily when there's a lot of emails that come in. Okay. For those of you that are looking for a healer, Mark has been with me since 2013. He is amazing. He's had great results with a lot of you out there, okay? And uh, so he's also underneath the description box below. There's his email address and his website if you want to know more about what he does. Okay, so let's see what's happening for you, Cappies. I'm happy to be here with you. We're in the final purge of Pluto in Capricorn from September to November 15th. After that, Pluto will stationary in in Aquarius so you're going to feel much more lighter much more better but we are in the final purges with these eclipses that are going on uh, from September uh, I'm recording this around the new moon uh, solar eclipse in Libra a lot of it has to do with mending friendships or just a lot of mending taking place okay uh, could be or just finalizing something and then we have the reset that's taking place well it's the same time as my mom when she crossed over last year uh, October, she, well, hers date was October 27th, but I think we're having the, the lunar eclipse, uh, I think in a couple of weeks from now, I think, I'm not sure if it's the 17th or the 19th, I'm not sure the date exactly, um, and, um, well, I'll, uh, let you know about the dates eventually, you're gonna see it in one of my social media, uh, for sure, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, here, on YouTube and Facebook, even my own page, Patrice 11 underscore 1111, where I'm going to go do live readings or in my tarot, uh, my group on Facebook. Everything is underneath the video and how you could follow me and I'm verified, meaning I have a blue check mark. If someone comes to you and says, oh, I intuitively picked up that I need to give you a reading and they have like a different kind of writing and they have my page with my, with my um, picture, that is definitely a scammer. What you can do on your part is report them. They're going to shut down. Okay. So just make sure that you know that I have a, I have a blue check mark. If you can't see it from your phone, then from your computer, you will see the black, the, the, the blue check mark that I have. Right. So sorry, I have to tell you all these things because I want you to be aware because people are always trying to scam me. Okay. Not only online, but offline too. Okay, so I have to always be careful of that. So let's see what's going on here. And I always want to warn everybody. So please, let's see what's going on here. Uh -huh. There's one card that I just wanted to show up. I'm going to show it to you and it's about you being happy now. Okay, it's about being in a state of happiness and in the moment. If you want to receive what you need, you need to be in this type of energy. There's something that you need to clean up. Okay, and I see you rebuilding yourself as well at this time. There's a lot of rebuilding that you're doing in your life. So let's see here what's going on for you. Happy. Round and round. Okay, round and round. Let's see. There's a soulmate energy here around you in the current energy. And... Honey and milk and honey, which is an abundance card. If you can see it, there's like a beautiful rainbow here. Okay, that's very encouraging. Now this over here, round and round, there's something that you keep maybe repeating. Maybe you are probably releasing it now during the eclipses. It's important during the eclipses not to make any major 
decisions like a job change or moving change or something like that unless you have no choice of course but the round and round card for me signifies that there's something there's a type of pattern that's happening there's a soulmate energy that surrounds you as well and let's take an extra card for the round and round please show me spirit what the round and round card has to do with for capricorn one card if possible one card if possible yep not all that glitters is gold stop falling for the same things stop falling falling for the same things these are patterns of yours uh cappy okay not everything that shines or glitters is gold you have to go deep, deeper into your if you're like i don't know what this could be but there's something here that's showing up that it's an it's a pattern that keeps happening and uh you know if people tell you oh this is a good deal or a person comes in and go i'm the right person for you and this i'm that i'm that and or you need to understand that uh, there's something here that's off okay see spirit answers right away that's what i like that's what i like and underneath you got no place like home a lot of you have been uh away from your community because you got the community card on uh, reversed here a lot of you are staying home you're hermiting at this time probably and uh, that's what you're doing because the community around you uh, you've been going through a lot of changes um, a lot of you are healing uh, feeling lacking of or abandonment issue and what they're asking you to do is to be happy now okay at this moment okay so let's get into your reading shall we okay Cappy let's see what the situation is for you Capricorn. six of pentacles no sorry this is the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles okay something long term here it could be a legacy a home an estate it could be a project you're working on this is a sign of abundance that's coming in inheritance could be anything here your challenge is the hierophant things take time if things have not been stable I think something's coming into that you have to take the higher road in the situation and it has to do with a lot of how you believe things to be something about how you believe things to be but we're gonna look at it dif uh, deeper into the oh boy okay hold on this card okay hold on hold on let's put this here let's just move this here okay Four of Pentacles. You've been holding on to something here very tightly. In the current energy, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. Yeah, yeah. While you were focused on your work, on or your passion, or your passion, there's new opportunities coming in in terms of your work. It's about stability. I also feel a lot of you have uh, Venus and Taurus. Your Venus is in Taurus. You're okay and things okay the tower reverse okay let's look at how you're feeling at this moment seven of wands this is how you're feeling you're overcoming a lot of the issues around you at this time you are standing above it and there is a reward here for you definitely what you're not seeing What you're not seeing is the sun card this is the best card in the deck good vibes positive vibes good things happening here and let's look at the hopes and fears oh boy that's a lot i'm not going to take all of them but i'm taking this one that came through wait a second which one was it I, I, the one that i saw anyways was the eight of cups so there's a new path here that you're going to be taking there's a new path okay and letting go of something and 
new path being shown up here. Let's look at the outcome. Ten of Wands. There's an ending of a journey that you that you've been traveling. You're laying those rods down. The Ten of Wands becomes the Ace of Wands, which shows there's a new beginning. And let's look at the overall, the High Priestess. The High Priestess. It's about following your intuition. It's about your knowledge and your insight. There's a decision that you will be making. You've been sitting on the fence about it for a while. Okay, but definitely it's coming in. Whatever the challenges that you have, you're overcoming them. Spirit wants you to know that. What you're not seeing is the sun. And in the hopes and fears, like I said, you got the Eight of Cups. Okay, there's a new path that is forming here for you. So let's clarify. Look at the high priestess and the overall Capricorn. Got the five of swords, king of swords reversed, the tower of tower reversed, and the king of cups. Devil, well, you came into your reading right away. <laughs> you want to be shown, which is okay. There's something here of uh, the way maybe you're thinking about something. Now, this, not, this will not pertain to all of you. There could be someone around you that's very angry at you. Okay, there's no communication, but they're really angry. Um, no, or they're not able to. They're not able to communicate. There's trust issues in this situation. It's almost like there's a freedom in how you're thinking about things. If there's if there's been people that haven't had your back or there's been strife or there's been just people like, yeah, like definitely also the way you're thinking about things. I feel that there's a turnaround that's taking place here. Remember you are, you have, you have the guidance of the high priestess. It's about trusting your insights that come in. Okay. You are, you are an Oracle Capricorn. Okay. Um, you have the insight here and something what that it's being shown to me is that maybe at this time, as you're going through ch challenges and changes and releasing, you are going to be in a sense of more, how can I say, what's the word? <laughs> I have to think about the word because uh, I'm gonna, I make up my own words, so I just have to make sure I'm not using my own words. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you're going to be aloof, more reserved in terms of your emotions, but you are solid. There's something here that you're starting to reflect on and or you have reflected on and it's 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 like um, there's a turnaround here for you of patterns, addictions, people or situations. It could be anything here. It doesn't have to be just addictions, just patterns and your your shadow self. OK, there's a lot of shadow work here that have to be done for you. You've been manifesting here. And you've been waiting for something to come in like a result like you know you're doing an over you and you say when is this going to happen as you're making plans i do see that you're stable here and there's going to be a new beginning but in a sense is that you have to follow that insight that comes through okay you need to follow it and for some of you is it like are you thinking is it your mind that's telling you something it's like or it's actually your psyche that's telling you something from you know your, your your spirit guides here okay one more card yeah it's like uh, there there's some for some of you it's just oh my god okay there's a lack it was the queen of wands that was reversed it, it's a lack of confidence yeah because it's been see you got the ten of wands here and you got it also in your outcome because something has been it's been a long journey and you've been carrying a lot here but there's it's an ending okay and water is very significant to you. Okay, let's look at this Ten of Pentacles. Oops, I moved these here. Let me just, sorry. I don't know why I put them here. I should put them here. I don't want no obstacles in front of the reading. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups. 
the sun. You got the sun twice in your reading. That's very good. There's positivity around something here that could be long term. Now, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm not going to say just it's Virgo, but Leo. It doesn't matter. It could be a Taurus. It doesn't matter what it is. But there is a relationship here or there's a union or some type of harmony that could be long term here for you. Okay. And the sun is shining on this. And a lot of you need to, whatever this ten of pentacles means to you, whether it's finances, love, collaboration, friendship. But this is a union with the two of cups. Okay. And the sun is shining is very positive. But the, with the hermit card, is what it's telling me that you need to do is you need to reflect on it. You need to meditate. Okay. And reflect and trust the insights that are coming in. Because sometimes things could be hidden okay whatever this is you have to choose the higher road in a situation and whatever this is if it's a person or a situation it's a very slow moving okay it's not fast paced okay now let's look at the hierophant and what is crossing you here and a challenge two of swords the cards are just flying three of swords wow and four of wands there's a lot of pain here. There's hurt, there's pain in terms of like what you wanted in a home. If it was a relationship or a marriage, it doesn't have to be a marriage or some type of commitment. You've been sitting on the fence about something. So from now till about, like I would say, I'm just going to give you a date out there. It's not going to apply to all of you. You'll know if this applies to you. Okay. April, no, May, no, April, April, May of 2025, something will come or will come into light from September to May, okay? It could be any, I'm giving you a time frame. There's something that you've been sitting on the fence about, and there's a decision that you have to make. But a lot of you are trying to use your mind to have the decision. I think what Spirit is asking you to do here is really use your spiritual side of you and really meditate on this and really take some time off and to meditate, okay? Because look, you, have, you, you are in a hermit stage here. Okay, so, and this has to do with a home or a marriage or it could be someone coming in for some type of stability or commitment, uh, something to do with stability. This could also be in terms of buying a home too as well. And um, you need to, you, some of you will need, there's, there's some type of healing or you're probably going through healing. Even if you've been trying to do your own healing, there's some type of healing, healing that still needs to be done here. Okay. Let's look at the four pentacles because you've been, I feel that you're, even though that you're healing, I feel that you still have a barrier around you of who to let in and who not to let in. It's almost like you need to release it and really like, and let go. Okay. Like you're holding back maybe. But I do see that stability around you. And I also see, see, I, I knew it. Temperance. You, there's, there's healing to be done here. Okay. Uh, and you need to remain patient. So even in the month of like, November, December, there's around, it's around that area I feel that things come up to the surface. Right now, like I said, we're in a purging. Sorry, I can't control the noise outside. Though I can't stand those, I don't know if those are cars or they're, I think their muffler is dying or something. But uh, anyway, um, everybody on the collective right now, and when I say collective, the world, because of this purging that we've been in for the last one of until Pluto goes into Aquarius, everybody, everybody, okay, needs a clearing. <laughs> you need a clearing and you need a healing. But I see it more towards the heart chakra, okay? Patience is the key and it's about finding a middle ground, a middle point in a situation. You have the courage and the strength, okay? to go through a situation here where you've been waiting for some type of change. You've been waiting for something that you put a lot of hard work into. There's been a lot of challenges around it with the seven of wands, but it shows me that you overcame them. Now, if you're still going through it and you're still not seeing a way out, it's still there. It's your overcoming it. And patience is the key here in a situation. Okay. It's patient. You need to be patient, but there is a reward at the end. Let's look at the current energy. With the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So this in in the current energy, there's a lot of healing that you're doing and you're trying to move on. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Seven of Cups. But you you might feel nost nostalgic. 
with the nine of swords at times and not, it cannot always it's not always there could be a mother figure around you that's probably not doing well at this time for some of you or maybe she's worried and she's going through a lot of emotions okay she's triggered she's triggered or things are coming up okay for her okay or this is you right sense of security there's a lot of options here there's so many options for you but make sure that you're choosing the right one and worrying will not or like if you're expecting something or a message to come in let go of the worry let go of the worry because the worry and of course there's confusion around this i see that there could be a sense of confusion and not seeing the path in front of you but what is showing up for me here is like definitely that something is coming into balance 100 percent. okay but you need to let go of the worry give me another card what should they do capricorn what should capricorn do when they're feeling like this what's the best thing that they it has to do with your confidence what is it that you're passionate about maybe some of you need a job change or you're, you're willing maybe you need to some of you want to you know let go of what you've been working on well, let's say if you've been working for a company for a long time and now you want to go into something that you want to work for yourself like something creative you have the passion for it you have the creativity here and if you don't have the confidence you should because i do see stability and money in a situation here okay so it's just you need to let go of the worry let's look at the empress which is in the middle of your reading you've got the three of pentacles there's a delay for a message to come in there's a message that will be coming in it will be but there's just a little delay in the current energy there could be some type of collaboration or teamwork or, or maybe for some of you you're going to be learning something new you know uh, or, or a course you're going to take or you're going to be helping someone or someone's going to be helping you but i do see a strong foundation here you're just waiting for some type of message to come in or someone here is going to come in with a message whatever it is there's there's an energy where someone right now cannot communicate how they're feeling because there's a lot of regret on this but something will come out about this okay so 100 percent, something will come out of it so what could they do at the meantime you have to take your power back here in a situation i do see you uh whenever this message comes through wherever this is or if you have to give a message or vice versa i see i see that you're going to see very clear ahead of you and i you will be traveling there is going to be traveling back and forth here okay uh with you and this person or this situation but there's definitely uh it's a, it, it will turn positive let's look at the tower reversed ace of pentacles yeah so definitely there's an offer coming in something stable money a job i don't know but definitely there is okay new ideas there is going to be some type of communication and something that you've been waiting for with the three oh geez and it's going to come into balance something is coming coming something is coming into balance okay that's very good and you've been waiting for this for a while i don't know what this is for some of you but it's in the current energy let's look at how you're feeling now you got the eight of swords the seven of wands some of you are feeling stuck or just overthinking a lot there's a lot of overthinking or just thinking the empress is showing up here again and the seven of wands again things are going to take flight it's important to trust your intuition I think the main thing here is a lot of trusting okay remember about these two cards not all that glitters that not all that glitter shines and round and round there's a pattern here and I think a lot of you are going to be releasing this there is a soulmate that's coming in and the soulmate could be anybody but there is a soulmate coming in and this is abundance and energy by this time you need to be home like a hermit there's new opportunities here showing up for you you manifest it you're waiting for it to come in but at the same time there's a lot of challenges that you're going through what can they do here to better what can they do here 
Okay, I have to take these cards. Yeah. Keep working on yourself. Well, the self-care, the value you've been putting in yourself, it's very important here. With the Nine of Pentacles. With the Moon card, you're not gonna, it's not going to show you. You have to let go of the outcome of any situation you're in. The Moon card is a card of discern. Neptune is playing tricks on you. Nothing, not, something is not what it seems. So you need to dig. That means that you need to, this is all about your intuition here. They're testing you on your intuition. And that's what exactly what you're going through. Pay attention to your visions and your dreams because they will reveal a lot and keep working on yourself. But I do see you building for yourself here and there will be celebrations around you. Let's look at what you're not seeing with the sun card. The Ace of Cups. Some of you are going to be traveling to a sunny place as well. I do see you traveling. There's new love. Celebrations taking place around you. Your heart will be in like unconditional love. And there is actually love here. And abundance. But there's definitely new love. The Six of Wands. And Victorious as well. There's victory here. Down the line. I'm not saying now. But your next step, if you let's say you've been single for a while, you might meet, you will meet someone nice, you know. And then for those of you that have been dating for a while, you might move in together. And then those of you that maybe moved in together, probably there's marriage. Why? Because you're going to the next level. There's a pause here. And then you go to the next level. You always have to choose the higher road. But something is very, very strong here. Also from the month of uh, April, May 2025 to july august of 2025 sounds very promising it could be before also june july is also june july july june july is also very prominent for you the whole year this whole year till next year okay there could be marriage down the line not right now but there could be a sign of marriage because with the eight of cups here you are going through there's a new path that is being laid out i see you traveling by, I see you traveling by airplane, car, there's a lot of traveling. Yeah, things are going to take flight. Things are going to start moving up. As soon as you go through that, this new path, things are going to start shifting for you. Okay. But in the meantime that you completed a cycle, right, it's time to rest. Stop worrying about everybody in the world. Take a break. Okay. With the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, if there's someone else coming in, or if this is you, I see wealth. I see your own business. Okay, I see you traveling, a lot of messages, a lot of emails. It's coming in strong. A lot of messages from, and uh, it's really very nice to see that, okay? Let's look at the uh, the 10 of Wands. Got the Emperor and the Empress here. The Eight of Cups again shows up. There is a new path, the World card. Okay, and always be honest in where you are in situations, okay? You're not going to tolerate any bo more bullshit, period. You're done with that, All right? I see a lot of healing taking place for you. You're going to the next level in this new path. Whatever it is, this talks about any type of commitment, whether it's work, love, whatever this means to you. It's about taking action and uh, yeah, so this is very, very positive. Now I will take out um, a numerology card, an angel card number. got 1616 16. and this is about readjustments it's about overcoming obstacles soulmates romance affection support and okay I don't know what this word is comfort so you your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right on the horizon is the possibility of a beginning of a new romantic or platonic friendship as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past. Everything will fall into place. Now remember, if someone from the past comes back and offers you, I don't know what, 
could be a red flag. So I just want to put out, okay, it could be a red flag. There's a red flag here somewhere. Okay, now uh, I will take out an extra card here. I don't know what these are called, unfortunately, but I like them because they're black and gold. <laughs> Who doesn't like black and gold? Okay, let me, okay, this card does not, oh, it does, okay, sorry. I thought they didn't belong, but I saw something. My bad, okay, let's see. Keep your heart open, even when it hurts. Keep your heart open, even when it hurts, Capricorn. This is number 14 in numerology. And then you have in numerology number 23, Listen to your spirit guides. They'll show you the way. Listen to your spirit guides. They'll show you the way. Nice to see that. Now, I will take out a card from... It's a long time I haven't used these, and I know a lot of you liked it. This is from the Sacred Geometry. I will read to you why you need this card and what crystals to use if you want. Number 42, you got joy. Who else got that? I don't remember which sign I did yesterday. That has the same thing. Yeah, I need to vape once in a while. Okay, 42, joy. Your, your, your affirmation is, I deserve to be happy. You could say it three times. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be happy. Uh, when the card, when this card appears, it lets you know you are on the right track. Joy and happiness are yours for the taking. What it is you are in rejoicing and feeling happy and content about. Something right now is giving you great pleasure in your life. Maybe there is a great stability in your home life or a, or a uh, new and promising personal or professional partnership. It could even be that everything you have asked for has fallen into place and you are feeling overjoyed success is yours for the keeping okay so the uh, okay so it's okay because you know what i don't have my glasses <laughs> i'm really straining my eyes okay i'm going to try to read the, the last part you are on track and the fruits of your labor are now being seen don't stop now when we trust ourselves and our intention of what we want to create joy and happiness abound keep your mind and heart focused on on okay wait heart focused and on track put your put your will and desire into action and remember that thoughts are powerful your belief system creates the empowerment needed for success to be achieved contentment is there for the taking the crystal suggestions that you have here is citron carnelian and tangerine quartz okay there you go and this is a number 42 but it's also another six so i hope you enjoyed your reading capricorn don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon please take care bye